Damn it, Adobe. Why do you confuse us like this? Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my little jungle here. Um, honestly, my studio doesn't usually look like this, but I was just shooting a course for Skillshare. So it's nice and pretty right now, but I'm gonna move it back to my usual desk set up here soon. Um, if you guys wanna see more about the studio, you wanna see behind the scenes, uh, a studio tour, let me know in the comments down below and I will make that for you. But today we're gonna be talking about the difference between Adobe Lightroom Classic and Adobe Lightroom. Clearly Adobe likes to mess with us. They're making all these names, they're changing the names all the time. And it's so confusing. A lot of my new students come to me and they say, Sean, are you using Lightroom Classic or are you using Lightroom? And I don't know the difference between the two. What, what should I be using? Well, we're gonna be exploring that in this video. I'm gonna show you guys the positives and negatives of both softwares and also help you decide on which one you should choose and also give you a little bit of insight into my workflow and which ones I use. Disclaimer, I actually use both and I have a workflow that works really well for me, but hopefully by the end of this video, you can have a little bit of clarity on which one you should be using as well. Also, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I'm giving away a free orange and teal preset pack. There's a link in the description. You can head to my website, download those. Those are completely free and I hope you enjoy them. Okay, so let's get into the details here. Let's talk about the main differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom. Well, the main difference is basically where your original photos are stored. With Lightroom Classic, you must store all of your photos locally. So that means either on your computer or on an external hard drive. So for me personally, I store all of my images on these. This is a SanDisk two terabyte SSD. What I do is after I come home from a shoot, I upload them onto this and then I import them into Lightroom. So the originals always stay on this. And if I wanna edit my photos in Lightroom Classic, I must have this with me. Now on the flip side of that, Lightroom is a completely cloud-based software. That means whenever you import photos into Lightroom, they're automatically uploaded to the cloud and that is where they stay. So what's so great about that is all of your photos are backed up instantly. So if something happens and your hard drive gets corrupted and all your photos are gone, you don't have to worry because they're still gonna be up in the cloud. And with Lightroom Classic, if I lose this and it's not backed up, my photos are gone forever because they're not in the cloud. And that's exactly why if you're using Lightroom Classic, you need to take backups seriously. Either you buy two of these and you basically copy it over to another one and keep that safe somewhere, or you upload it to the cloud using a service like Backblaze. That's what I personally use to back up my work and I'll leave a link in the description for that. But if you are somebody that has a hard time backing up your work and you forget about it quite often, Lightroom might be a better option for you because backups really are super important. Now the other main difference between these two softwares is Lightroom Classic is only desktop and Lightroom can be used on any of your devices. So it can be used on your desktop, on your mobile, on your tablet. And that is really nice, you know, being able to conveniently edit anywhere at all, in bed, on the road, and standing in line at the grocery store. Having that convenience is really important. And I know I personally appreciate being able to edit on my smaller device from time to time. Now, the next main difference between these two softwares is their ease of use and also some of the features that they have. So Lightroom Classic does have a few more features that Lightroom does not have. For example, range masking with the selective adjustments tool. If you guys have seen my video on the most important feature in Adobe Lightroom Classic, you will know that I absolutely love that tool and it's essential for me in my editing process, but I know that it's not essential for everybody. It's kind of a more advanced tool um, that maybe only professional photographers would use. And the same thing goes with color calibration sliders. Those don't exist in Lightroom, but they do exist in Lightroom Classic and not everyone needs to use those. So for the most part, I think this isn't something that should be a major factor unless you really are gonna be meticulously editing your images and spending a lot of time on them. And if you are a professional photographer, I think you need to be using Lightroom Classic for these features. But if you're just an amateur photographer and you're not necessarily stressed about getting the tip top perfect edit and spending all this time on your edits, then I don't think these features are must have. Also, this causes Lightroom Classic to be a bit more confusing and have a, a slightly steeper learning curve than Lightroom. Lightroom is much easier to understand than Lightroom Classic because of the way the sliders are organized. And I really love how Lightroom does this. They have separate tabs with everything that you need within those tabs. So for example, under the light tab, you have all of your exposure, contrast, and tone adjustments. So everything is in that light tab. And then in the color tab, you have your white balance, you have your color grading, you have your HSL sliders. Everything for color is in that specific box. And the same goes for effects 
and details. And I really, really love that workflow. That's actually the same workflow that I teach in my Lightroom Classic class. However, Lightroom Classic is just not intuitive or as streamlined as Lightroom is. It's also worth mentioning that Adobe is constantly updating Lightroom. And I think that the features that currently exist on Lightroom Classic and that don't exist on Lightroom are gonna be added to Lightroom in the next few years. They've already added so many features that weren't there in the beginning. And I think the differences between the actual editing capabilities are closing day by day. Okay, and the last main difference between these two softwares is the way that your photos are organized and sorted. So with Lightroom Classic, everything is manual. You have to keyword everything manually. So if there's a picture of a tree, you actually have to physically type the keyword tree into the keyword metadata. So then Lightroom Classic can associate that image with a tree. And you, and you also have to make sure that your file structure is organized as well. For example, all of my photos are organized based on the year the month and then the day. And I also put a little note about where that was shot, what kind of trip it was on, et cetera. If you have a hard time doing this, if you're not good with manual organization, then Adobe Lightroom is a little bit easier in that regard. It sorts things automatically. It uses a AI technology called Adobe Sensei, which I honestly think is the future of photo editing. And I'm gonna get into that in a little bit here. Um, but what's so great about Lightroom is it automatically scans and reads all of the information in your images and then you can use the search bar on top to search for honestly anything. You can search for colors, you can search for specific objects like cars or trees and Lightroom will automatically find images with those things in them using its AI technology and then present those options to you there. It can also read faces and it creates a separate album for everyone with different faces. Um, and if it recognizes two people that look similar, it'll ask you, is this the same person? Should we merge these together? And honestly, I think that's a really cool feature, especially for people that are shooting for fun and they just want an editing software that's a little bit easy to use and more intuitive. But yeah, I really do like that automatic tagging and intelligent search feature. I think it's really awesome for a lot of people. I personally haven't found a way to implement it into my workflow yet, but I do see it becoming a useful feature for me in the future. Okay, so those are the main differences between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, but now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Sean, you just confused the hell out of me. I don't know which one I should be using. Help me out. And don't worry, I got you. I've put together a few different questions you can ask yourself to help you decide on which one is better for you. And the first question you should ask yourself is, how many photos do you shoot? If you're like me and you take a ton of photos and you shoot in RAW, which means you have big file sizes, you're working with a lot of data, using Lightroom's cloud-based system is just not going to work. I can't realistically store all of my images in Adobe's cloud system. It's too expensive and it just doesn't work for me. I need to carry around my data physically. I have to have it in front of me. So personally, a exclusively cloud-based software does not work for me because I have too many images to work through and it just does not fit my workflow. But if you're somebody that only shoots JPEG and you just don't shoot, as much as me, you don't have that many photos, then honestly, Lightroom is probably fine. The storage options available for you under Adobe's Creative Cloud plans might be more than enough for you. It really just depends on how many photos you're working with um, and whether it's RAW or JPEG as well. The second question you should ask yourself is, how new are you to editing? And also, how seriously do you want to take editing? Like I said, I think Lightroom is a much more streamlined and easy to understand software. Uh, and Lightroom Classic just has a slightly steeper learning curve, but you also do get those few extra features that currently exist in Lightroom Classic uh, that Lightroom does not have. So if you really aren't interested in like diving into the software and learning every little detail, um, Lightroom is much easier for that. And I do recommend that for beginner photographers, but if you are a professional and you really want those more robust features and you wanna be able to manipulate your photos heavily, um, then I definitely recommend Lightroom Classic. The next question is, which devices do you edit on? Honestly, this should have been the first question because if you don't edit on your desktop at all, well then you shouldn't be using, you can't be using Lightroom Classic because it's only desktop based. But if you're somebody like me that likes to do both, well then you can use both softwares. You can still sync your images to the cloud using Lightroom Classic and then you can edit those images using Lightroom on all of your other devices. And this is the exact workflow that I use for my Instagram photos. What I do is import all of my photos into Lightroom Classic and then you can put them into a collection and then you can sync that collection to the cloud and then that collection will show up on all of your devices. 
And this is awesome because I really do like editing on my mobile phone. And if you guys have seen my video on the best mobile editing workflow for Instagram, I highly recommend checking that out. That covers my entire editing workflow from importing the photos into Lightroom Classic, sorting those images, putting my favorites into a collection and then syncing that to the cloud and then editing on my mobile phone. I really do like this workflow. It works really well for me and I get the best of both worlds. I can edit on my desktop using Lightroom Classic or I can edit on my phone using Lightroom. Okay, and the last consideration is pricing. Now pricing is gonna vary depending on where you are in the world. Adobe does different pricing for different regions and stuff like that. But in the US, there's three main photography packages. And in the first two packages, there's one for $9.99 and $19.99. And both of those will get you both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. Um, the 999 one gives you 20 gigabytes of data and the 1999 one gives you, I think one terabyte of data. Uh, and then there's also another package for 999 that's only Lightroom and you get one terabyte of data. So that's great if you're only gonna be using Lightroom and not Lightroom Classic, honestly, that's a great option for you because you get more storage for less money. But yeah, this isn't a huge consideration. Um, personally, the middle package works really well for me. 1999 a month, I get both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. And I also get one terabyte of storage, which is more than enough for me because I only sync the photos that I'm actively editing. So usually in the cloud, I only have between 100 and 1500 photos, depending on if I'm sorting and I wanna see things on the road. Um, it really just depends, but usually never more than that. Now there's a few other small differences between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, but they're honestly not that big of a deal. The first one is tethering. You can only tether in Lightroom Classic, and this is for a more professional studio setup, so it's not gonna be relevant for most people. The other one is printing, printing locally through Lightroom. I don't personally use this. I don't know many people who do. And the last one is third-party plugins. Lightroom Classic supports more third-party plugins than Lightroom. However, I think over time, Lightroom is gonna have more third-party plugins and just a brighter future overall. So let's talk about that now. I think Lightroom is definitely the future of photo editing simply because it has the Adobe Sensei uh, AI feature. Adobe is constantly improving this and I think honestly AI is the next generation of editing. Having that machine learning technology to evaluate our images and do smart editing features is honestly crazy. I mean, look at the things that are happening on our smartphones nowadays. You can tap a filter in your face changes. That is really, really cool technology and that is slowly trickling down into photo editing. So I'm really excited for the future of AI editing. And I think that technology that exists in um, Lightroom and its ability to be used on devices um, like smartphones and tablets really opens the door to so much more innovation than Lightroom Classic. So I am keeping a close eye on Lightroom. And like I said, I think it's the future. And I think in time, these softwares are either gonna merge or Lightroom Classic is gonna get this Adobe Sensei AI as well. But for now, Lightroom Classic is my main hub for editing. I continue to use it to organize my images and I do edit on my phone as well using Lightroom. And like I said, you can check out that video on my mobile editing workflow. I'll leave a link in the description. But that is it for this video, guys. Before you head out, I just wanna shout out my Adobe Lightroom Classic class. Um, that class basically covers everything you need to know about Lightroom Classic and all the sliders and all the different features within it. And it also provides some insight on how you can find and develop your own unique editing style. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link in the description. That course is hosted on Skillshare, so you can watch it free for 14 days. And then after that, it's like $15 a month. And not only that, under that same subscription, you get access to all 16 of my other photography classes, as well as the thousands of other classes on Skillshare. It's honestly a steal. Um, and I highly recommend checking that out if you want to become a better photographer. But thanks for watching guys. I will see you again very soon and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you.